Well, what do I mean by workflow? Well, workflow is a, a set of procedures uh, that you go from step one to step 10, so to speak, and you do each one in order as defined. So it's a definable, repeatable process. And I start out with image capture, and it ends up with whatever your final output may need to be. So that might be a JPEG that you want to send to your lab uh, to help with a, um, a case that you're working on uh, for shade matching, uh, you know, before and after prints for your walls and your waiting room, you know, whatever it needs to be. It starts with image capture and goes to final output. And it, uh, my workflow recommends utilizing professional industry tested tools and techniques and in a color managed environment. There are a couple of things in here that are very, very key and important. Definable, repeatable is very important because you want to be able to do this all the time so you know what you're doing and especially if you have multiple people in your office that are making dental images, everybody needs to be doing things the same way and everybody needs to know what that process is. So it needs to be defined and it needs to be repeated every single time. The other thing that's important is industry tested tools and techniques. That's all I recommend you use. So from your camera equipment to software to whatever is involved in the process, I want it to be an industry tested, you know, ironclad solution that's going to work for you every single time. So we're not reinventing the wheel and we're not using, um, you know, one off products. And this last bit is very important and it's part of where I think a lot of dental um, training falls short and that's color management. So what does that mean? Let me take just a second and tell you what that means. Color management basically is, is very simple. It provides helps you provide consistency and predictability throughout the image capture, viewing, and output process as far as your color appearance goes. So it means we capture the image correctly in capture with excuse me in camera with accurate color and the exposure is correct everything is right there so then when you go to view it on your on your monitor if you're going to make any kind of adjustments we need to make sure that the monitor and your viewing environment are set up properly because every monitor is not made to display color accurately so you know I part of the workflow needs to be viewing accurate color on a, a color accurate capable monitor. That's a mouthful, isn't it? And then once you go from viewing your image on your monitor to getting what you see on your monitor in a final print or in the JPEG that you send to your lab or whatever that final output is, um, I talk about how to do that. So that's the workflow that I teach. It begins in capture, goes to view, and continues through output. Now I have three classes that deal with these three areas. The first I call my shoot class and it starts off talking about image management. How do you manage on your computer and in your office all these wonderful digital assets that you're capturing and it starts off after that talking about the capture process how do you get everything right in camera as I mentioned it talks about um, the camera settings ISO shutter speed aperture those kinds of things the metering settings the focus settings and the flash which happens to be probably the most um, difficult part for most people I talk to you about how to make the all those things work effectively simply and easily so that every time you're getting consistent results then I talk about image control and what I mean by that is how do you know that you're getting all those things right in camera and there's some ways um, to kind of look at that as you go uh, call and one tool is called a histogram to do that I teach you about them how to read them what they are and, and how to use them effectively White balance is another big part, and that happens to do with the color management piece of it. Um, you know, how do you get the color accurate in camera so you're not tweaking it after the fact? A lot of classes teach you, uh, we'll just do that later in Photoshop. We'll get the exposure right, we'll get the color fixed in Photoshop. Well, that's really not an effective way to do it, or an efficient way to do it, and it takes time, and that eats into the bottom line of, of your business. So we want to get it all right in camera every time so we don't have to fool with any of those things. So that's what my shoot class teaches. Then when you go to the next stage of the process, viewing color accurately on a monitor, I talk about what the working environment that you're looking at your images in needs to be. Talk about the monitors that are capable of displaying color accurately, how you 
actually set them up to do that and uh, which is calibration and profiling and shooting tethered you can shoot directly from your camera into your computer um, with some caveats um, but it makes things much much more productive and there's a, a tool that I use that I recommend uh, everybody get Adobe Photoshop Lightroom that um, that allows for that and I go into a, a short introduction of that and then using digital camera profiles which is a way to take your color to the next level the last part of, of the workflow and the last class that I teach is called my print class. So monitor to print matching. How do you do that? Um, you can set it up, your environment up, so that if you make adjustments on your monitor, you can see those adjustments and they'll print out exactly as you see them on your color accurate printer. Uh, I teach you how to do that in the print module. Um, you may not need all three of these pieces, but you need to start if you need all three with the shoot class, move to the view class, and then move to the print class because they all build on each other. So those are the three classes I teach. And before you even get into that, um, you need to know how to do all this stuff and, and what kind of equipment you need. But here's a testimonial from a couple, one of the labs that I've worked with um, that I've done this whole process with them, the shoot, view, and print class. Um, I started out as a customer of theirs and uh, ended up teaching them my workflow and they've been very happy with the results. Another lab I've started working with um, has done my shoot class and we're getting ready to do the rest of it but they've uh, had great uh, great results with what I've taught and by the way both of these labs are here in the Denver metropolitan area and they've both sponsored my classes on and at their sites for their customers. So I think they've gotten a lot of value out of it and their, their customers have too.